Believe it or not, I'm the first person to admit that um, I've got pretty irritating personality. My wife will certainly vote for that. Um, I've been a sort of a, I don't know, irritating person all of my life, and it just seems to go with the territory, and I don't really mean to irritate people, but that's inevitably what happens. I think it's just a personality type. I just never let anything go unquestioned. Um, my parents probably wanted to strangle me a few times when I was growing up, but anyway, I have a habit of doing that, and when you have people that believe in things strongly, they tend to get annoyed with you and angry. Now, th that's understandable. Um, I don't blame people for it, but it does interest me, and it um, this tendency for this to happen, and it does sort of tie in with my distrust of isms. Um, Whatever your ism is, if it's, uh, I don't know, uh, socialism or uh, uh, Rosicrucianism or Catholicism or whatever, um, you tend to sort of have almost a, a subconscious distrust of anyone who doesn't subscribe to it. And if someone persistently objects to your ism, I think that what happens is a subconscious suspicion that this person is just fooling around with words creeps into your thinking. Now, I'm not saying that, that, that people don't deliberately fool around with words, uh, get sophistic with things, um, but there are people who actually do sincerely question everything um, and don't leave any axiom unturned. Um, that's the kind of person, I suppose, that gets really annoying for the person who's trying to sort of come up with a practical solution for real-world issues, and it always boils down to, at some point, somebody's got to take a stand or else nothing will literally ever happen. But the problem with that is, when you've got an ism that actually, sort of, in some sense at least, um, holds itself to be some species of common sense, uh, just logical reasoning in any, you know, uh, you, you end up with... Um, you end up with the idea that the person who is questioning it is either dishonest or deficient. Now, this happens to people that are very reasonable. Um, as I say, it's, it's a very good example of being led around by an ism. I recently got blocked by somebody whom I thought I was having a very um, uh, civil conversation with on the subject of libertarianism, I suppose. Vaguely, one could call it that. Um, and it's been my experience that a lot of people who are subscribed to that sort of thing tend to be very reasonable, rational people. But the interesting thing is, is that the belief in reason in itself can become irrational when you think that someone else is either being unreasonable or irrational or fooling around. Um, that suspicion can lead, I suppose, to people reaching for the block button. Um, and of course, I, I don't blame people for that. You don't go on... well. I presume people don't go onto the into onto YouTube for the express purpose of getting frustrated by people. Um, uh, and if you just don't want to discuss anything with anybody, then that's you know why should you? Why should you discuss something with someone? But I rarely get blocked, believe it or not. I, I get ignored by a lot of people who just refuse to have anything to do with me, and I understand that. I don't take that personally. But when I get blocked, I assume that it's something of a visceral response. And what interests me is when people who apparently are very reasonable or very rational um, do take a somewhat visceral response to people who disagree with them. Um, it happens a lot, and it makes me think that sometimes I think that people have an attachment to the rational, which is somewhat irrational. If somebody else is being irrational, then you, and you believe that anyone who is being irrational is um, frustrating, then you're within your rights, in, in a certain sense, to block them, coerce them in, in a certain sense, even if just getting them out of your face. Is an argument ever um, the sort that needs to be shut down and stopped in its tracks? Is there such a thing as some sort of rational blasphemy? Is there a point when you have to say, look, you're just screwing around here, and you're just trolling or playing with words, and I've got to shut you up? I think a lot of people do think that that 
is something that is the case, that there are arguments or situations in which that has to take place, that decision has to be made. Um, on what basis do you make that decision? That's an interesting question, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you.